Heart chat time. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna run into the gym, but I wanted to share this with you guys because even me, even as a fitness professional and somebody who's been doing this for a long time, these two simple things kind of almost ruined everything for me. So you guys know, um, some of you may know, I'm doing one more bikini competition. Good morning, guys. Thanks for jumping on. I'm doing one more bikini competition in two weeks, okay? So going from like the peak of two weeks ago and then like jumping right back into it, I had a couple of bad days. I had a couple of bad days. And I seriously, I got to the point where I was like laying in my bed, like depressed. <laughs> seriously, like I was just like, I can't. I can't freaking do this. I am so like, not just tired and hungry. Like it was like beyond that. It was like, I was like, it, I, I'm getting texts at the wazoo from colleagues and clients. And I'm just like shutting down. I'm just like, no, <laughs> I cannot handle anything like any, like I, yeah, shut down mode. Right. And I was like, man. And so I, I texted my coach and he's like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm on the struggle bus and I ate things I shouldn't have eaten. And I'm like, I'm, I'm a kind of a mess. And he's like, as a good coach, asked me good question good coaches ask questions um and he asked me he's like why do you think you why do you think that is that's it <laughs> and i'm like i'm pretty sure it's sleep um and water so those are my two things i want to talk about because i want to tell you hi jolene thanks for saying hi um i want to tell you how like as some science background on that, you guys know you hear sleep and water, like, yeah, 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 sleep and water. But my question is, are you doing it? Because I, now that I got that under wraps, like I asked my body, this is something I do. This is something you could try doing. I just like, I was like, okay, I'm having like my come to Jesus moment, like with myself. And I'm like, what do you need? What do you need to be able to get the job done here? And I heard so clearly, this is before I answered Damien, my coach, but I was like, it was like, the answer was, you need to prioritize sleep above everything else right now. Like, you're not going to make it if you don't prioritize sleep. I was like, okay. So it was like, beyond all your other things that you do, like sleep is numero uno. I was like, okay. And then I got, I got water. You need lots more water. So from a science standpoint, what I wanted to share that I thought might be interesting for you guys is the impact of sleep and water on our neurotransmitters, which are little chemical messengers in our nervous system. They're like the little FedEx in our nervous system. They help us make connections. They jump across the neurons and send messages. Um, sleep and water have a tremendous impact on our neurotransmitters and our hormones. Our glandular function goes down when we're dehydrated or sleep deprived. Um, they have shown from sleep studies that we literally aren't able to produce enough neurotransmitters to be happy when we're sleep deprived. And the same thing with water. Water is vital. You know, we talk about autophagy and fasting and all these cool nootropics and hacks on how we can improve our um, uh, cellular turnover. But guess what? If we don't have enough water, we can't make those new cells. So um, anyway, I'm sharing from, from that standpoint, but also just, you know, anecdotally for myself. Wow. I mean, you guys know, think about the person that you are when you're sleep deprived. Imagine that was you, like pick a day you can remember, maybe it's today, hopefully it's not today, um, that you were really sleep deprived. How'd you show up? How'd life go that day? Were you like your optimal self and just after all your goals and ready to go and create a new plan for life? And <laughs> you know, no, you were probably like super crabby to everybody you knew, apathetic, you don't give a crap, you're just like trying to survive the day fitness, you're like in the gym, like, Oh, I don't want to do this. It sucks. Right. <laughs> and then pick a day that you got plenty of sleep. Who are you that day? You're like a different person. That's you. That's like the real you. And man, like since, so it's been like the last, I don't know, three days that I'm just like sleep in time. It's time for Tara to sleep. Um, man, I've been showing up differently. And then um, another impact of sleep is on our insulin sensitivity. So if you don't know this, you need to know this. Like if you have a hard time with fat loss and you're not sleeping, those are super freaking correlated. So insulin sensitivity, they did a study. They took some guys who were all metabolically healthy, had great blood sugar management. Um, and so, you know, and if you don't know, insulin is the hormone that comes in when your blood sugar goes up and it puts, takes the blood sugar and puts it somewhere. So that could go to your brain. That could go to your muscle cells. <laughs> My coach is at, texting me right now. He's good. See, um, how are you doing? <laughs> um, 
So like, um, but insulin, if it doesn't have anywhere to put it, will also put it to fat storage, right? It's just taking glucose out of your bloodstream, put it somewhere. So you want to be insulin sensitive, like in your muscle cells, your brain, like you want to have a need for the, the glucose that's coming in from your food, from that blood sugar rise. And you will get a blood sugar response no matter how you're eating. Okay. You will get a blood sugar response. So they did a study on some guys. They showed they took, they had some of them, they had half of them go eight and a half hours of sleep per night and half of them go five and a half hours of sleep per night. They showed that the guys that got five and a half hours of sleep the day after five and a half hours of sleep, they were pre-diabetic on their insulin management. They went, they basically became insulin resistant temporarily from the lack of sleep. So that sucks. <laughs> So if you want to have your, all your efforts go well, like you're eating, whatever you're eating, you want it to go towards muscle building and making neurotransmitters and brain health, you got to get sleep. Um, or it's more likely for that stuff to go towards fat storage, right? So, um, and then the other thing, yeah, you can't make adequate amounts of neurotransmitters when you're in that sleep deprived state. And my kids are on sleep spring break right now. And so I let them have like a really, really, really late night. And little Kyle, Kyle's like my little like angel child. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being real. He is like such a like, he's just such a good boy. Like he always wants to do the right thing. He's like so thoughtful of our, for around everyone. He's just, he's like a little sweetie pie. But the night after, the day after he got his sleep deprivation, he was like a zombie and he was mad at everyone. And he was so super short, like, just like, just nipping at everybody, you know, like not his best self because he just didn't have the chemical balance to be happy. So you literally can become chemically imbalanced from a lack of sleep and a lack of water. Our brains are, they say anywhere, you know, you hear different things, 75%, 85% water. So when we don't have water, we like literally our cognitive function goes down. Your focus, your ability to just think and process and store memories goes down without water. So um, what I've been, I wish I had it with me. It's at home. I've got my, this for the gym, but I have a hydro flask that's 64 ounces. Um, I also just ordered like a straw top for it. I find that if I have like a, like, straw thing. I will like drink more versus this giant opening where I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of awkward. I'm like bringing it to parties and I'm like <laughs> guzzling this huge half gallon thing. But I love that sucker. I love it. It's worth the investment. It keeps your water nice and cold. It's, it's metal. And I just put trace minerals and then my upgraded formulas minerals in that. So it's like this big bottle of goodness. Um, and I know that I just need to get through two of those every day right? That makes it super easy uh, for me. So I just, it's like, you just watch that sucker go down. Yeah. I'll save this live. I'll post it. Um, so yeah, uh, water, especially like for me, I don't know what it is. I, I'm one of those people, <laughs> you can make fun of me if you want, but I don't love the taste of water, even like my filtered water. But when I put trace minerals in it, all of a sudden I am like, oh, I can't stop drinking this. It's so good. <laughs> I think I just need those minerals. So get some trace minerals. I just use concentrate trace minerals off Amazon in case anybody's wondering. And then I also do my hair mineral analysis testing, which is on my podcast pretty recently with Barton Scott. Um, and so I put my minerals from that I need to get my ratios right um, in there as well except for iodine because Martin told me not to put iodine in my water, but everything else I put in there. So it's just this big bottle of goodness. And man, it is like literally your brain function. Now that I'm in that habit, you, dr you drink some water in the morning and it's like coffee almost. You're, you just feel your brain come alive. So just some tips on that. And yeah, you need water to be chemically balanced <laughs> and to have focus and concentration, concentration. So I love like, I, I love like anything optimizing. I love nootropics and all of this stuff, but don't forget water. <laughs> don't forget the basics. And that's what I was, I was kind of meh on water and I wasn't getting sleep and it was like no bueno. So make sure that you're prioritizing those two things. Cause literally like we're just big babies. We're just big babies and toddlers that grew up and you see how kids are when they're sleep deprived or they're malnourished or haven't eaten enough water or food or whatever, they're not showing up them, their best selves and neither will we. So just a little reminder because it's been hot on my mind lately. I mean, it is seriously like getting enough sleep and water alone is like, oh, I can do anything. Oh, bring it world. I got it. You know, so make sure you're prioritizing those two things. All right. I'm going to go kill it now. <laughs> Thanks for joining guys. See ya. Bye.